that fish. Eat that fish. Beautiful Greek food. The Albanian people are so friendly. They invite us in for their dinner every day, anytime we want anything. Always nice to us. You really gotta come to Albania. Now pay, pay attention now. We, we will actually go. So this amazingly beautiful restaurant right here on the bay is called Haji, which is uh, a Muslim that has gone to Mecca, it's, even though it's not a Muslim uh, place, but it's a sign of respect. And the food is phenomenal, and not just that, the owner comes up and greets you, so nice. right? And then he gave us another glass of wine to try out, and then he also brought us some desserts. Yeah. It's all free of charge, yeah, no problem. Yeah. They're all about customer service here. Absolutely amazing people here. This is our second time here. We really enjoyed it. And the view is just spectacular from here. Uh, the island, of course, in Greece, right across from us, and the ships. And soon this will be full of tourists right here on the beach. Yeah, exactly. it, it's the perfect spot. And he just moved to the spot from a couple streets up or something like that, he said. Um, yeah. But the people, honestly, the food's amazing. The people, even more amazing. Yeah. Yeah, we love to hear. Yes. So this beautiful masterpiece is shawarma. And that only cost 200 leke, which is about two Canadian dollars, maybe a dollar sixty American. Your money goes a long way. And this huge draft here at American Blue for expats is 175 leke. And they're not the cheapest in town, but they're the best in town. We are off to Tirana. Really excited. We're going shopping for our new apartment. You really can't buy anything here. It's the same 10 things that they all just seem to sell when it comes to furniture and stuff like that. There's, there's not a lot of choice at all. And you're certainly not gonna get a good price in a resort town. But our friend Albano, who's our driver, he has to go vote today, because it's election day, and uh, he's going to be there for the weekend anyway, and he knows the roads better than us, so it all worked out. We have this big van, so whatever we want to get shouldn't be a problem, and we can't wait to decorate. And he's our landlord, but you know what? He's cooler as a friend. Yes.
Okay. Here in Toronto, they have an amazing, I guess, secondhand market, um, but you wouldn't know where it is. We were we had to have a local show us that had lived here for 20 years, and it's a path that you have to take in front of your hotel, and otherwise you wouldn't even know that this whole street was here. It's amazing. There, we found your perfect boots. She loves them. You look good in them. Think of all the places you could go. All the people you could see. The kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> this is Albano, our landlord, but also our friend. He's been helping us out, translating, telling us where all these beautiful places are. And what is dinner without a pony? Oh, look at you, you and the pony. We're not going anywhere for a while, apparently. Right beside the restaurant. We found a pony. Hello. Wow, so friendly. Whose horse is this? He said there's a stable right there. There's another one right over there. It's a white one. Hiding over in that corner. You love in Albania now? Yeah, I'm not leaving. We've been here forever. We've been here for a long time and a good time. We are heading back to Saranda, van full of goodies, ready to set up the studio, set up the apartment. Really excited for that, but. We have a wedding reception to go to first, which uh, I'm not in it or anything, I'm just a photographer, but uh, it's going to be uh, interesting for sure, and uh, we're going to have not much time once we get there, just enough to get I think, everything together and head out, but four hours left, about that, we've been driving about an hour, and uh, off we're going. Fresh mountain stream and our restaurant upstairs. Wow. Look at that. All the fresh water you can ever want.
we should at least use it. And here is the top. Oh, there's no chairs. Wow. Look at all the pipes, everybody trying to get some water. I mean, we could sit here. <laughs> this area is called the cold water of Pepelin. I think I said it right. And the mountains provide all this runoff of these mountain springs all over and they have these taps where you can fill up whatever container you brought uh, with as much spring fresh water as you can handle and you have this gorgeous mountain right over here on this side there's a river of course that is mountain fed so it's super clean and clear you can see all the way to the bottom right down below and the road just winds through here and it's so amazing Everything, I, I gotta say, everything that we find in Albania is picturesque and beautiful. So pretty, everywhere. Makes these long drives like, go by real quick. The road to Saranda is a pretty crazy road. Especially if a big tractor trailer is coming in the same direction as you and needs the whole thing. But the view is incredible. As long as 